Hello, my name is Wyatt Hansen, and this is my informative speech about the Atlantic Wall for introduction to speech. Hitler knew that without a great shore defense, he would never be able to defend Europe from Britain and its allies. This is why Hitler had approved the construction of the Atlantica Wall, also known as the Atlantic Wall. The wall was a series of separate, small and large independent structures, along with fortresses stationed on islands that would provide support for each other. The wall had originally approved for 15,000 bunkers manned by 300,000 men. And it would be stretched all the way from France to the tip of Norway. Although he did not have enough resources to build the full 15,000 bunkers, he did manage to build 6,000 of them and stretch them from France to Norway as originally planned, which was approximately 1,670 miles. The bunkers consisted of concrete that was at least two meters thick in some places to provide bomb proofing. These bunkers also housed heavy caliber guns which were used to shoot down any aircraft that may pass over or incoming ships. The bunkers also housed smaller artillery guns to ward off any invasion. Construction of dummy bunkers was also used. They lacked artillery pieces, but some were defended by riflemen and machine gunners to convince the allied powers that they were real bunkers. The wall not only consisted of bunkers, but of beach obstacles. Some beach obstacles included Belgian gates, mine post, and the Tehedra. Belgian gates were welded steel structures that could be used to sink enemy ships. The size could be anywhere from six to even 10 feet high. It would weigh up to about three tons. They were propped behind triangular frames and mounted on concrete rollers to make sure they did not float away in the sea. On the top of the gate were three prong, prongs that could be tipped with mines or even left exposed to tear out any of bottoms of landing ships. The next defensive trap the Atlantic Wall had was a series of mine posts slanting seaward with teller mines attached on the top. They were 12 to 17 feet above low tide so that landing craft attacking the wall at high tide could detonate the mine and potentially blow a hole in the bottom of the ship's uh, base. The final defense on the beach was the Tehedra. The Tehedra contained a pyramid-shaped logs frames with up to three mines on the seaward leg, arranged at different heights for better chance of exploding holes on the base of the landing craft. The final defense position the wall contained was the inshore defenses. On some, beach, uh, on some beaches, anti-tank ditches were dug. The ditches were made to stop tanks from crossing by having the tanks drop into the ditches when they got next to them. The tanks ended up getting stuck in there because of how steep the edges were. The ditches also were being aimed at by artillery, motors, and anti-tank guns. So when they did take the slide into these ditches, they would quickly be blown up. <laughs> Uh, towards the bunkers, many open fields and beaches have been spiked with tall poles, also known as romels and asparagus, to prevent planes and gliders from landing safely. These poles were tall enough to rip apart their wings of any aircraft, preventing them from having a controlled landing. The Atlantic Wall may have withstood many small attacks but it was not prepared to be attacked from one certain point. The wall did end up becoming breached by Operation Overload, also known as D-Day, and caused the remaining forces and bunkers to be flanked from the backside. The last fortress that had been part of the Atlantic Wall didn't surrender until May 9th, 1945, one day after the German army had had surrendered on the mainland. To sum up, Hitler knew that he needed a shore defense, but unfortunately did not have the manpower or resources 
to fully use the wall to his advantage. The manpower he needed was unfortunately also busy fighting on the Eastern Front. Hitler was also spreading his resources quite thin, causing not the whole entire wall to be used or even built in some places. The Atlantic Wall was a great idea, but was never be able to finish because of the lack of resources. If the wall was able to be completely built, a lot could have changed during World War II. Thank you. My name is Wyatt Hansen, and that was my informative speech on the Atlantic Wall.